What were they preaching about? Ask your neighbor. What, what were they preaching about? Eh? You are here for prophecy? Huh? Ask your neighbor. What were they preaching about? What is your neighbor saying? Eh? Come, brother, come, come. I want to hear. As many of you, you don't want God, but you want a solution from God. You hear me? Many of you, you don't want God, but you want God to solve your problems. Am I speaking sense? Many of us, we don't want God, but we want God to solve our problems. What were they preaching about? About deliverance against the sins. Deliverance and what? Deliverance against, deliverance, delivering us against sin. Mm. Mm. Let me get one person that such. Can I, can I have one person here to tell me? What were they preaching? Bring the mic. I want to hear something. Hallelujah. Let me hear. I was preaching about deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil. Yes. Let me let me have another one. Uh, well, he was uh, mentioning that we need to allow the anointing to guide us as children of God. Mm. Uh, from the book of John uh, two twenty, which said we are anointed. Mm. The the last one. Let's hear that. Daddy said we have received the anointing which teaches us. Amen. It teaches you what? It teaches us. It teaches you. Yes, it gives us wisdom, knowledge, understanding, spiritual matters. Mm. I want to ask the last person. But the person I want to ask is there. Because we need to know why we are coming to church. Huh? Can I get the last person there? Who can tell us what were they preaching about? There. I want to hear. One person. Tell us what were they preaching about? Hey. <laughs> One person. Just tell us what Daddy was preaching about. Oh. One thing that he said, he said, <coughs> even if we, we leave a dead man's grave open, he won't rise up if there's no power to rise him. Mm. That's one thing that touched, <coughs> that touched me. Uh, let, let, let me get the last one, last, last one from there. There's no one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ask your neighbor and say, what are you here for? What is your neighbor saying? Huh? Ask your neighbor and say, what are you here for? What is your neighbor, neighbor saying? What are, you, what, are, what are these? Ask them again, say, what are you here for? Are you here for the word of God? or you are here for prophecy, or you are here for prayer. Which one is it? Huh? Huh? Can I get a small volume? Don't worry, I'm, I'm going to prophesy, don't worry. I'm going to prophesy, relax. Ask, ask your neighbor, say, what, what, are you what are you here for? What are they saying? Huh? What? Uregi, brother, <laughs> you, you are saying what? <laughs> the best for you. <laughs> yeah, the best for you. Let, let, let me, you are saying what? Come, come here. <laughs> Listen to this, brother. You are saying what? Come. You said, are we here for prophecy? Word of God and, and to be prayed for. And your answer is? All of the above. 
clippers for you. <laughs> yeah, no clippers for you, Maggie. Listen, uh, before I pray for you, let me tell you this. Come here when you know why you are here. Know why you are coming here. Are you hearing me? Know what? Know why you are coming here. One thing that makes us to miss the blessings of God is because we come to church, we want to receive something. Are you hearing me? Huh? You are coming to church to do what? To receive something. And in that manner, you will fail to receive something. Because a church, you must come here having a spirit of, of fellowship. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? You must have a spirit of what? Fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, if you seek God, remember, there's a verse in the Bible that says, before you pray, he knows what? What do you want to pray for? Meaning there's no need of you doing what? Praying for that particular thing. One time I told you, I said one of the reasons why we get delayed is because we go to God and pray and say, God, give me a car. He knows that you want a car. Not so? Huh? I was telling people, I said, learn a better way of approaching God. Are you hearing me? I have never, let me tell you, I, I don't remember in my life going to pray, say, God, give me this. Aye. It has never happened. If he is God, he must know what I want. Are you hearing me? And my faithfulness and obedience must provide my needs. Can I say that again? If he is God, he must know what, what I want. But my faithfulness and my obedience before him must do what? You don't receive something from God because you are praying for it. No. Before God gives you anything, he checks you. He checks your lifestyle. And check if he gives you this kind of a blessing. Won't it affect you? How many people are killed by blessings? Huh? So now, Holy Spirit must prepare you. How does Holy Spirit prepare you? He prepares you by teaching you to live right, by teaching you to obey. I was, you know, I tell people, I was telling people of UK, I said, when you're a child of God, you, you live by rules and regulations like COVID-19. They are written in the word of God. Are oh, you hearing me? So now from today, when you come here, come here and say, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to fellowship. You know, don't have that mind of saying, I'm going there because I want God to give me a job. You, 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 you are going to have a problem. You understand? That's the reason why we pray for people, they receive things, they run away from church. Because already they have received what they were looking for. Huh? Huh? How many people we are praying for? Every day. You are thinking they are not receiving. They are receiving. And they don't come back. It's because they were here for that. Already they, they got what they wanted. <coughs> Hallelujah. So now from today, when you come here, don't come here because you want something. You want a blessing, you want a car, you want this. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Already God knows what you want. Are oh, you hearing me? Huh? I can't hear you. Amen. I can't hear you. Amen. 